Dr. Pescatori, today many people suffer from compromised immune systems, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. I would bet you probably 100% of us have a compromised immune system, unfortunately. That's pretty scary. Well, I mean, from, from pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, water pollution, to the pesticides in the food that we eat, mm. to the antibiotics in the foods that we eat. I mean, just, it, it can go on and on and on. Our bodies are constantly being bombarded by toxins. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a human little baby today in cord blood has 417 environmental toxins. Ah, I had 417 that. environmental toxins found in cord blood, mm -hmm. and over half of which are found to be neurotoxic. So then you wonder why, you know, the rise in autism, the rise in ADHD, the rise in, in so many different diseases in children that we never had before. Mm -hmm. And it's because of all the environmental toxins. Our bodies are just overloaded. Our world is overloaded it with is. toxins. And, um, so absolutely. Can, can pycnogenol help boost the immune system? Yes, absolutely. Our immune system needs boosting these days. I mean, it just, it just, we need help. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just need help because the immune system, the immune system and people, this is an interesting point because, yes. you know, the immune system is very nebulous. Everybody knows right. we have one. Yes. But what does it do for us? I mean, nobody pays attention to it. Nobody soothes it. Nobody takes care <laughs> of it. That's true. They only think about it if they're getting a cold. Oh, what can I do to boost my immune system? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you should think about boosting your immune system all the time. And then right. you won't get sick. You won't get these colds. You won't get these flus. You won't get some of these things. And the, the interesting point about pycnogenol and how it works to boost the immune system is that it's an antioxidant. Okay. I mean, it's primary, you know, one of its primary main points is that it's an antioxidant. And not only is it an antioxidant, it's a super antioxidant. Mm. So it helps all of your other antioxidants do their job. It helps keep the other antioxidants in the body longer. And what antioxidants do is gobble up. I always think of them as Miss Pac-Man, you know, where they go and gobble up all the free radicals mm -hmm. and scavenge anything in the body that shouldn't be there right. and, and help the immune system to do that. But because the immune system really is what's out there with the macrophages and, and you know, all these different cells and that just go about mast cells, all these things that go about and just keep our body functioning well. Our immune system is so complex that we still, in 2000 and whatever, don't know what it all does. We, only, we know so little. And it's not, you know, and, and compromised immune systems, not just HIV disease, it's not mm -hmm. just people with cancer. People with cancer have uh, compromised immune systems. Let's okay. not forget that. And our immune system, each and every day, each and every minute, while we're sitting here recording this, mm -hmm. we're producing cancer cells okay. in our body. But the immune and system. our immune system is going around, like I said, doing its little scavenging job, being Miss Pac-Man. So we should have National Immune System Day, shouldn't we? <laughs> we, have, we should have National Immune System Month. Mm -hmm. Like we have all of this and, and mm -hmm. teach people how the many levels and the multifaceted way that you need to keep your immune system healthy. Pycnogenol is just one of those ways. And I like pycnogenol simply because of its antioxidant abilities and because it's that super antioxidant because mm -hmm. then it helps everything else. Keeps right. everything else around, keeps everything else, helps to detoxify. And, and that's really what you're looking for, for a product to do when you're looking for an immune system product. And when we're living in a toxic world, we need to be armed with something. We have to have things in our tool, tool chest. You know, and I think about, and when I think about what am I going to do for a patient's immune system when they come in, or, mm -hmm. or what am I going to do about X, Y, yes. or Z, it's like, what can I pull out of, you know, mm -hmm. my, in my little pot, my grab bag there? Mm -hmm. And pycnogenol is always right up there. It's always right up there, especially with, with immune system things, because of its ability to work on so many different levels of the body, work in so many different ways, to really be a great scavenger of these free radicals that just cause so much damage in our immune system. And, and our immune system needs all the help it can get these days. And people just don't realize how each and every day keeps us healthy. And we yeah. don't think about it. And, yes. and the way, I've got to say this, the way we eat mm -hmm. suppresses our immune system. Oh, that needed to be said, didn't it? One teaspoon of sugar suppresses our immune system by 56%. Two teaspoons of sugar suppresses our immune system by 84%. The average American consumes 35 teaspoons of sugar every day, so, which is 160 pounds of sugar, not to mention the 35 pounds of artificial sweetener that the average American consumes each year. But just think about that. 
That all suppresses the immune system. All suppresses the immune system. One teaspoon, 56%. Now, that doesn't last all day, obviously, mm -hmm. but we're constantly eating sugar all day. Yes. We have a sugary breakfast, a sugary snack, a sugary drink, a sugary lunch, sugary mid afternoon snack. And that includes snack. high fructose corn syrup. Let me not get started on high fructose okay. corn syrup. I mean, that's you know probably the leading cause of death in America is high fructose corn syrup, um, which actually is worse, which actually contains mercury. Mm. The way they process the corn into high fructose corn syrup contains mercury. So okay, so that's, that's another toxin, a, a deadly toxin that yet, suppresses the immune system. That suppresses the immune system, exactly. And mm. here we go back to suppressing the immune system. So when you're taking something like pycnogenol, you at least have a little bit of an edge. Mm -hmm. you know, at least you're getting your, your, you're getting your antioxidant house in order, and that's important. And so, you know, it's always been about germs, 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 germs. But it's really more and more about toxins and, like you say, the things we're imbibing every day. Absolutely. It's got nothing to do with germs. Yes, yes, there are bugs that cause problems. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's staph, there's strep, there's all of those bugs and viruses that cause problems. Mm -hmm. But the germs on a table... I'm not going to cause you problems. This whole craziness of That's what I'm thinking. rubbing and all that nonsense. Like, come on. That, that, that's, that's just pure nonsense to me. I mean, the reason why there's a the whole belief system, mm -hmm. the reason why kids today have so many allergies and asthma problems is because they're, not, they're, they're in too clean of an environment. Kids who grow up on farms, kids who grow up with cats, kids who grow up with dogs, kids mm -hmm. who grow up with animals, they don't have the allergy allergies that kids who are like kept in these sterile little worlds do. Okay. I mean, so there's a, there's a giant push towards, at least in Europe, mm -hmm. talking about how being too clean is not good for the immune system because you've got to get your immune system to be challenged so that it can build up the antibodies mm -hmm. so that when something really does come along, your body's able to handle it. And pycnogenol is just an aid. It's just, it, it's an aid to help with the antioxidants so that your body is really ready to rock and roll mm -hmm. when some invader comes along. And it's not, oh, Okay. yeah, and, and this, this antibacterial hand soap, mm -hmm. I've got to tell you, as far as I'm concerned, should be banned. Our skin has bacteria on it for a reason. All it's right. a natural protective barrier. When mm -hmm. you remove that natural protective barrier, why is it there? Mother Nature put it there for a reason. Why are we taking it away? Okay. Let's it keep works. our immune system healthy. Let's take our pycnogenol every day so we get our antioxidant in it. We get a super antioxidant in it so it helps the vitamin C, it helps the vitamin E. <laughs> Dude, we're the only mammal. People probably don't realize this. Well, there's, there's like some other mouse. But <laughs> be, besides us and this one mouse, we're, we're like one of the only, we're, we are the only two mammals on earth that don't make vitamin C. Really? We've got to get it from external sources. Mm -hmm. And most animals make it, most mammals make it at three grams per day, which is 3,000 milligrams per day. That's like a standard vitamin C of what their bodies produce every day. We produce none. Okay, so we need to have things like pycnogenol and antioxidants. We, we need the antioxidants. We need to take vitamin C. We need to take vitamin E. We need to take selenium. And then when you take pycnogenol, it makes it all better. You know, it's like one plus one equals three instead of mm -hmm. one plus one equals two. And then we should play in the dirt once in a while. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's do it now. All right. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Mm -hmm.